Good evening boys and girls. Today we are going to see all the important problems for your public examination, second PUC public examination statistics because you have to learn it in a very smart manner. Only then you will get high marks and when you aim, you have to aim for 100 marks. Now we are seeing all the important problems in each chapter which you have to know. These are the sure questions and you have to learn it. And only these questions, I'm not saying that only these questions you have to work out. You have to work out all the other questions also from the question papers, different years, question papers you have to work out and from the text, everywhere you have to work out. But these are the very, very important problems which you have to understand. Now, the first chapter we are going to take deal with is replacement problem. And all of you know that five marks, there is a sure question being asked there. And in this particular question, they have given you the purchase price is 50,000 and, and the scrap value or the resale value. This is resale value as resale value as 15,000. They have given you the purchase price in the question as 50,000 and resale value as 15,000. They have given you the first column year. The second column, maintenance cost, they have given you. Now what you have to do is this resale value or the scrap value we must take as the third column here. Now in another question, probably they may give you the resale value, the values, different values. But here they have given you only one value. That is, any time you just sell your commodity, the resale value which you're getting is only 15,000. So in the question, it's been given that 15,000 is the resale value. So you have to write 15,000 everywhere. That is S column. Now the next column which you are going to write is P minus S. So P is the purchase price, that is 50,000 minus s column and s column is the scrap value column so p is 50000 minus 15000 is 35000 so everywhere it is 35000 because your scrap value is the same so you're going to get the same values here in case i had given you the scrap scrap value as different for different years then this column would, would not be the same always. It would be of different values here. Now next column is summation C that is cumulative maintenance cost. So how do you get that? You have to go to maintenance cost. So the first value is 500. So you must write 500. Next, how do you get the next number here? 500 plus 700. So you are getting 1200. How do you get the next value? 1200 plus 1200. You are getting 2400. So once again 2400 plus this one. You are getting 7900. 7900 plus 12000. You are getting this value. Now coming to the last column, P minus S plus summation C divided by N. So you take P minus S, this value, plus summation C 500, add both, divided by N will be divided by 1 for the first year. So you get this answer. Again, 35,000 plus 1,200 divided by 2. So N will be 2 for the second year. Please take it into account. N will be 2 for the second year. Now next, this plus this divided by 3 for this one. This plus this divided by 4, you will get this. This plus this divided by 5, you will get this. Now you must see the minimum value here. Please see the minimum value. Which is the minimum value? This is the minimum value. So this is the minimum value. And so 
which is that year please see which year it is this is the year so what is your conclusion your conclusion what's your conclusion you just have to write at the end what's the conclusion the machine has to be replaced after four years the machine has to be replaced after four years and the minimum average cost minimum average cost what is minimum average cost is cost of the machine is 10725 10725 it is rupees 10725 rupees 10725 so that's the end of this particular problem it's very important please learn this